Let's see if you're a genius. It's fun. It's fun. A YouTube celebrity. Ten questions. Step right up. Step right up. Ten questions. Now, is abortion right or wrong? Right. Okay, and why? Because if a high school girl doesn't want to have a kid, she shouldn't be forced to. So she should have the option to uh, not have it. So basically, it's uh, her right to have an abortion? Yeah. Okay, now, have you ever considered the baby's rights? Do you think that the baby has any rights? I don't think it does until it's actually in the world. But did you know that at conception, we have all the genetic material that we're ever going to have? The only thing difference between me now and the time of conception is I was nourished and I grew. But there's no genetic material added, no DNA added. Everything was complete. Right or wrong and why? Um, I would say it's wrong because I don't, <clears throat> I don't agree with humans being able to play God. Are abortion right or wrong? If so, why? Uh, uh, I think it's a state's rights thing. So it depends on what state you live in, depends yeah. on how you're going to see that. Yeah. So if you live in Ohio, you might think it's okay, but if you live in like Nebraska, you might think it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, so you're basing that on society. Can state, we judge anyone else? I can kind of restate the question a little bit. Um, uh, does someone have the right to have an abortion? Is it their right to have an abortion? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay, now how about the rights of the baby? Are those important? It just, I think it depends on the situation. Well, I mean, I think in any situation, um, I'd rather be born than not be born. But that's that's the question. Okay, I just gave you that to think about it. Okay. Okay. And just to think about it, a lot of people who support abortion, not saying you, I'm saying like other people that support abortion, they don't think about it. But if their parents would have had an abortion, they wouldn't be alive to support abortion. Two plus two. All right. What is two plus two? Yes. What is two plus two? Four. Right. What's two plus two? Four. All right. Is homosexuality right or wrong? Right. And why do you believe it's right? Um, because if you really want to be with someone, you should be able to be with them without criticism of others. Okay, and... Did you know that even in countries like Holland, where homosexuality is widely accepted, that among homosexuality there is a high level of depression? If I hit, a, hit on you at a bar, that would be okay. I wouldn't consider that uh, either right or wrong. I wouldn't like it, um, but that doesn't make it right or wrong. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just asking from your point of view. So basically, from your point of view, you could or could not become a homosexual. I could not. Okay, so you believe for yourself it's wrong. I believe that it is uh, it is not possible for me. Uh, okay, so but the, okay. But the words right and wrong uh, imply uh, moral. Right, it is moral. moral. Questions to me, it, so. it is a moral question. So I, I cannot say that uh, I can't answer it whether it's right. Or well, wrong. you know, it is a moral issue. Uh, did you know? <laughs> did you know? Oh, well, I just got hit in the head. Did you know that um, uh, in Holland, sexuality right or wrong, and if so, why? I think it's righteous because I don't think it's a big deal. I think people should be able to live how they want. Okay, now this is just a little in information you might not know about, but did you know Holland is a country that greatly supports homosexuality? So homosexuals are not persecuted in any way there, they're free to live openly and freely, but there's a study that was done, and if so, why? I think it's natural. Okay, so you say it's right? Yeah, I have no problem with it. Okay, now this is something you may not know about, a lot of people don't. Did you know that Holland is a country that widely supports homosexuality? I did not know that. Yeah, it's a country you can look into it. They widely support homosexuality. You can be gay and live in Holland, and no one cares about it. I think that's great. I think there should right. be more countries like that. Right. Now, there's, there's a study that was done. It's a medical study that was done. Right. It's not some religious group. It's a medical study that was done that says that the high rate of depression among the homosexuality population of Holland is extremely high. And also, out of that population, there's an extremely high percentage of suicide. So even in a country where it's widely accepted and no one cares about it, they still commit suicide. Okay, it is a medical study that was done, 
and it's like a psychology study they did and everything. And you can check into that on the internet just to make sure I'm not trying to make something up. But it's just something to give you something to think about that actual homosexuality isn't really a physical thing, it's a moral choice thing. It's something that deals with your emotions, it deals with your spirituality, it deals with your decisions. Otherwise, you're not born to commit suicide. I'm not going to I'm not going to be born to commit suicide. That's a choice. So for some reason they choose to do that. Question, and if not, what is your faith? No, I'm Catholic. Catholic? Oh, all right, Roman Catholic. Not sure. Okay, now now a lot of people are confused by that. I mean, I know that there's a difference. But could you just briefly explain the difference between Roman Catholicism and Christianity? I can't. You can't. Okay, I'll I'll give you a quick rundown on it. Uh, Roman Catholicism follows the doctrines and teachings of men, and they hold that higher than the doctrines and teachings that's in the Bible. Actually, they say that you follow the Pope, and you follow the Magisterium, and you follow the Church, but you don't follow the Bible. So that's the main difference. In Bible-believing Christians, they don't follow traditions of man, they follow the writings of the Bible. So that's the main difference. And most Roman Catholics, if you ask them, you know, if they're a Christian, they say, well, it's not really the same thing. And they would be, they'd be honest for saying that because it's not the same thing. It's different. Are you a Christian? And if not, what is your faith? I am not a Christian. Um, I, I might consider myself um, maybe something like a deist. I do believe certainly in a, uh, in a divine, divine power of God. Um, but I cannot bring myself to um, wholly and completely follow Okay. So you do recognize that there has to at least be a, a yes. creator, there has to be a God in order for anything to make sense. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's, that's, that's not bad. Uh, not another, bad, well, thank you. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not going to say, you know, because <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that don't believe that there's any God at all. Yeah. Well, and then when you start thinking about reason and, and you start thinking about all these other things, you start thinking, well, there has to be an uncaused cause. I know. Okay, but, you know, the other thing I want to say is, you know, actually as a deist, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but deists usually believe that God created everything. And then just turned his back and walked away and left everything just happen as well, it happened. Well, that, that, that might be one specifically confined definition of the term, but um, no. Because you think he would have wanted to contact us or give us a book? Also, what's that? He, you might think he might want to give us a letter or a uh, book uh, to let us know he's, that he's there? No, no, I, I don't believe that that's how God works. All right, well, I thought I'd ask you that. The question is, are you a Christian? And if not, what is your faith? I am a Christian. Are you a Christian? And if, if not, what is your faith? No, I consider myself a theological non-cognitivist. Okay, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's pretty much a form of agnosticism. Okay, ag agnosticism? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Christian. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time. And here is one of these. You can ask your friends the questions. All right, thank you. All right, have a good day. Yeah, you too. And here is a copy of the questions. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And the last one. Yeah, that was it. Okay, excellent. And thank you for participating. Thank and you. And here's some more questions for your buddies oh, if they want to take you. some. Thank you. They seem like they were interested in it. All righty. Well, All right. Thank you, sir. Have All right, nice you have a good day. All right, bye-bye. All right, well, thank you very much. Yeah. And go ahead and take one of these. Thanks. And have a good day. All right, thank you very much. And I'll give you a copy of the questions if you want. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to give you another one so you both have a copy. Thank you. All right. And you can ask these questions to your friends. Okay. Thank and you. have fun. All right. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>